Hey friends, today we are going to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2023. I am so happy the holiday season is here and I can't wait to watch the Christmas parade and fireworks show and I figured I'd give you a little guide and show you how I like to do the Christmas party in case you ever want to come and do it yourself. So we're going to eat lots of cookies, ride lots of rides and have a joyful Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Anywho, let's go do this. This is the first time I'm seeing the Christmas decorations this year because I wanted to wait to see them all at once on the party night, which is tonight. And I'm so happy to be here. I can't wait to see the snow down Main Street, the fake snow. They're gonna make it into a winter wonderland here, except we're in Florida. In case you don't know what Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is, here's a brief overview. It's basically a Christmas party that you have to pay extra to come to here at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, it costs anywhere from $159 to $199 depending on the night, uh, but you get all you can eat Christmas cookies and hot cocoa and apple cider, and the rides have like very low wait times, and some of them even have holiday overlays. Uh, but my favorite thing about all of it is definitely going to be the Christmas parade and the fireworks show. I love it. So let me know if you guys think it's worth it and I'm excited to kind of bring in the holiday season. Once you check in for the party and you get your wristband, they give you a Christmas party map that shows you where all the treats are and the special uh, like experiences. And then you get a uh, little welcome uh, Christmas ornament. Mickey's very merry Christmas party. I love it. I love the toy soldiers. That's so cool. That's a nice little, I like it. On top of the parade fireworks and all the cookies that you get to get, uh, eat during the party, they also have very rare character meet and greets and a bunch of DJ parties all around the park and they pump out Christmas music. So it's so like wholesome and just like, like everyone's full of holiday cheer and I love it. There's a really cool entrance to the Christmas party this year and uh, they're giving out all of the park maps and they even have some performers back here. And I love that the lights are starting to turn on and we still have that like cotton candy sky. Look at that. Oh, there's the maps. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe it's snowing already. Look at this. I love it. This is the way to start a party. That's how it's done. That's party how it's right done. Here. There he is. Merry Christmas. Look at this, they actually have the toy soldiers out actually doing photo opportunities. Oh wow, and they actually have some still, oh thank you. That was the way to walk into a Christmas party, man, I love that. I'm sure I butchered all of the lyrics to those songs, but I was just full of excitement. It was great. Uh, but uh, yeah, now I think I'm actually gonna go get in line to meet one of the characters. One of the cool things and one of my big tips is uh, get in line early. The party doesn't start for another hour and a half and they do start the character meet and greets early. So I think we're gonna try to go meet one and then be able to be up on top of the game. Jack and Sally are meeting in the front of the park, but look at how amazing it looks on Main Street right now with the golden hour and the lights turning on. Holy moly, I can't wait for the snow later. This is amazing. Right inside Town Square Theater is uh, where Jack and Sally are meeting. And look at this, it's 5.30 right now. The party doesn't start for another hour and a half and the wait time's only 30 minutes. That's amazing. 30 minute wait time. Huh. Wow, I love that. I cannot believe we got so lucky with the 30 minute wait. Like normally people wait to meet Jack and Sally like two hours because it's not like a quick meet and greet. It's actually a long process because they spend time with you. So we're very lucky to be starting off the night like this. How's it going, Sandy Claus? Oh, Sandy Claus, he knows my fake name, doesn't he? Yes. It's going very well. Ah, I'm very excited for this season. You. I am. Well, I can see from your getup. Thanks. Quite I like. Well dressed. I like your uh, getup too. Oh, do you think? Yes. Well, I of course have Sally to thank for this. Oh, well, Sally. Do you cut down your tree and decorate its corpse too? Oh no, but that tree is so pretty. Do you think? 
I think it's amazing. I'm sure that it was the fullest one that we could find. Huh? Oh! So Look at him! Where his legs went. So frightening. <laughs> gave them away as a gift this Christmas. And observe, we've covered the branches with fire hazards. I love that. You do? I do. Thank you. You did excellent this year. Oh, feel free to pull any of the ideas that you like and bring it to your world. Oh, well, I will. Well, thank you. Of course. And also, I see Oogie Boogie up there. Oh, do you? I do. He's always looking after us, I see. Yes, unfortunately. That shadow of the moon. Naughty, naughty, naughty. We know that we're on the nice list, of course. We get coal from Santa Claus every single year. Of course. Why, yes, it was quite the spectacular sight, I've been told. Oh, uh, I love it. You guys are adorable. Uh, adorable? Adorable. Adorably scary, of course. Adorably, frighteningly oh, scary. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh. Simply meant to be. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. <laughs> bye bye. Jack and Sally, or should I say Sandy Claus, was amazing. Wow, I loved it so much. And they're so personal. Like they spend time with you and they talk. They point out things on the tree. I loved it. That was the way to start. And now the party has started. It is 7.05. So all of that we just did was not during the party time. How amazing is that? Now we get to go out. It's going to be dark. The lights are going to be lit. The snow should be coming down. And the music should be on. I am like so pumped out after meeting them now. So we gotta get going, time to get some cookies. Wow, guys, look at this. The snow, the Christmas lights, the music, it's all happening. Now that we got to meet, like, uh, like probably one of the rarest characters, like, well, the longest waited characters of the night, um, I think we should maybe go get some cookies, like I said. And then I also wanna try some of the specialty food that they're serving only at the Christmas party. So uh, well, I guess we'll start making our rounds. All around the park, you'll find these little inflatable candy canes, and that's where they'll have uh, free uh, like cookies and drinks. Also, I see the dance party happening over there. I feel like I need to go over there. It's a Zootopia dance party. Oh, it looks like we're starting the day with delicious cookies and apple cider. Ooh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Look at that, apple cider and a little sugar cookie. I like how they have the cookies in the individual wrappers because you can get as many as these as you want and you don't have to eat them. You can save them and take them home and put them in the fridge later. And I think that's awesome. I think, uh, I remember I seen the cookies one time here, uh, but here, let's uh, dive on in. I got a little apple cider and I got myself a sugar cookie. That's the way, it's a good way to start. So, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mr. Boss. Merry Christmas, how are ya? Hmm. How are you guys? Merry Christmas! Yay! Hey, hey, Merry Christmas! Very nice. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of the sugar cookies, but they're all right. I mean, I, I think I'd rather eat like chocolate chip or white chocolate macadamia nut. So we're gonna keep moving along. And plus, I wanna get some hot cocoa. The apple cider was good, but uh, nothing goes better with cookies than hot cocoa. Cosmic Rays has the hot cocoa and some more cookies along with uh, some special food items that you can purchase that's only available during the Christmas party. So I think I'm going to grab some of those and of course the hot cocoa. Oh yes, there it is. Hi. Cookies. Can I have a hot cocoa too? Thank you. Can I have two? I'm going to carry one on top of each other. Thanks. Have a great one. Look at that. At Cosmic Rays, they have a snickerdoodle cookie and then the hot cocoa. And there's nothing like a warm hot cocoa on a 80 degree Florida day in November. So cheers to the uh, holiday season. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's like the perfect temperature. And now for the snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodles. Oh, I got you at the one two punch right there. Cookie and then hot cocoa. So good. 
Now we can't eat cookies all night long, so we gotta have something a little savory. And at Cosmic Rays, uh, for the uh, Christmas party, they actually have a turkey like dinner, like a turkey burger, but it's a turkey dinner burger. And I am so excited, I got that. And then my friend got the pot roast melt. And I thought about the pot roast melt, but um, it's like, I think there's cheese in there. I'll see when she opens it up but I'm uh, excited to try the burger. They also had this really awesome looking uh, Christmas cookie cake slice or cake roll, but they sold out. They sold out 45 minutes after the party started. That's it, like it literally started at seven o'clock and the cake slice was gone at 7.45. So if you're looking for that cake slice, you gotta come here early. And uh, here's the burger. Oh my Lanta. There's some fireworks happening there. I was just grabbing my turkey burger. But look at that, it's got the stuffing, the cranberry, a little bit of everything on there. I'm gonna, I don't know, I showed you a little bit before, but there you go. Just what I like. I actually like this burger a lot. This is right up my alleyway, especially if you guys know how I like my food. There's no cheese on there. It's literally just a turkey dinner on bread. And I am here for it. If they sold this all the time, I probably would come to Cosmic Grays for a lunch anytime I come to Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna try to at least try all of the cookies tonight. And I'll let you know which one's my favorite by the end of the night. Right now, Snickerdoodle is my favorite, the one I just had here at uh, Cosmic Grays. But I'm sure that'll change. There's gotta be some better ones out there. And uh, also, oh, hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> what is it? This is the veggie. Oh, it's not. This is a plant based patty melt. It's not a uh, pot roast melt. Oh. So that wasn't a pot roast melt. It was a patty melt. It was a veggie patty melt. Which I was so confused. But I think what happened is they ran out of so much stuff. Literally, Cosmic Rays right now is really hard. The, the mobile ordering, I put my mobile order and it took about an hour. So just be prepared that that's gonna be probably the most popular spot of the night for snacks. On top of this Space Mountain overlay, they also have a really cool uh, Tomorrowland Speedway overlay where it's all de like decorated with Christmas lights and Christmas trees. So we'll have to do that later. But right now, I wanna go to space. I wanna go to Christmas space. <sighs> One of the things I wish they would do for the Christmas party is make Tron available so that you can ride it all night. If you want to ride Tron, they have a 6 p.m. boarding group that you can join, and it's only for uh, party guests, but I didn't even look to see if it's open. It probably is open now, but I'm sure it will sell out eventually during the night. But for now, it's time to make our way into Space Mountain, and it's only a 25-minute wait. I'm so excited. You excited? This is my favorite overlay like for the holiday season and not just Christmas I'm talking any of them like they do a Halloween one where they make it like pitch like black and dark in there But this one you can actually see almost everything and it's got better music Luckily I was able to bring up my GoPro with me today and my harness So I'm gonna be able to film on the ride and show you guys
GoPro does that video. I mean, I don't know if that GoPro does the uh, ride justice because that was amazing. You could see everything. I don't know what it looks like because I haven't edited this video yet, but I can't wait to see if the GoPro was able to catch it all. I loved it though. That's why I always do this. Like, if you've seen any of my party videos, Space Mountain is a must with the overlays. And now I think uh, we're gonna switch things up and try something different. As soon as we got off Space Mountain, I wanted to come over to see the Collective Five, a nice little uh, acapella group that they got here, singing Christmas music in Tomorrowland. Me and my friend Phoebe are gonna head over to the Tomorrowland Speedway now. I want to ride, but I don't like driving because I always kind of crash. Like I always ride the guard, like the the rail. So she's gonna drive, and she has a YouTube channel called Pixie Dusted uh, Phoebe, and uh, I'll put a link for her in the channel. Kristen's gonna grab some more food, and we're just hanging out, having a good time. I love it when you get to come to these parties with friends, and I'm sure we'll be meeting up with a lot of other people later on, and uh, I'm excited. Phoebe's gonna be driving. I trust you. It's like driving, driving with Miss Phoebe. It's like we're driving to look at Christmas lights. I'm like vibrating. I know, I am too, I'm shaking. Uh... And we're off. All right. Oh! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Wow. You got this. Now, it's to try to keep it centered. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh no, it, it's impossible to keep it centered. <laughs> Look at that. Look at those Christmas lights. They got Christmas music playing. I should have brought a hot cocoa with me. Look at Tron. Oh, and now we're coming into the Christmas lights. Coming in to the left. <laughs> I'm impressed at how like skilled you are right now. You're staying exactly like I literally like I feel like I'm always riding the guardrail. You're really right centered. There he is. Merry Christmas! <laughs> we did, we said it at the same time. Merry Christmas! I've always wanted to be in a Christmas parade where I got to like wave at people. So like one day I hope to do that like at a fire like parade. When I grew up I used to have like uh, firehouse parades where Santa would like ride in the fire truck. That'd be me. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Chrysler! Baby, you did a great job. I said cash a card. Cash a card? Tip? I think now maybe we should grab ourselves another cookie and uh, head into Pinocchio's Village House and then go meet up and grab some more of like the food that they have specialty just for the event tonight. You know what I mean? They have quite a bit and uh, like at uh, Cosmic Ray, some of it sold out. So now I'm like, holy moly, I better go get it now because maybe that one might sell out too. Oh, I can't wait to see. Oh, this one's hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Hello. Hello. Can I have a cookie? Yes. And a hot cocoa? Yes. Ooh, red velvet. Yeah. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you. This is only my third hot chocolate of the night. Only my third. And I think these are like 10 ounce cups maybe. So 30 ounces of hot chocolate. It's hot. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, thanks. Wow. Look at this. I feel so fancy. You got so many. Well, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did you have the red velvet cookie? Not yet. No? You no, didn't get it? No, my favorite one is the one with like the buttercream frosting. So good. You want to try? No, I got, I have four. I know they get a lot. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is actually a really soft cookie. We've got hot, hot cocoa and soft cookies, and I'm loving it. This is the one. The red velvet cookie at uh, uh, Pinocchio's was so soft, and so far that is the winner of the night for me, but we're gonna try more cookies. And the hot cocoa is actually hot, which I didn't like. I like it warm temperature. 
to go riding in a one horse sleigh. There we go. <laughs> That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Naveen and uh, Princess Tiana are meeting actually over by the uh, the boat, the river boat. I love that. That's so new this year. I'm having the best time ever. The Christmas music is just putting me in the like the best spirits, and uh, we keep on stopping. And every time I see a cookie spot, I gotta go in. So we tried red velvet cookie, we tried the snickerdoodle, we tried the sugar cookie with the green frosting, and now we'll try some of the more food that I was talking about before because I don't want it to sell out. And Sleepy Hollow actually has some great items, so that's where we're on to next. Right over here at Sleepy Hollow, they actually have a holiday waffle. It's a house-made red velvet waffle topped with M&M's, chocolate candies, peppermint ice cream, and hot fudge. And then they also have uh, milk and cookies for Santa. Brown sugar cookie cake topped with uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. And uh, a milk mousse. I feel like I gotta try them both. Look at how amazing this waffle is. Oh my lord, it's a red velvet waffle. And I already talked about the ingredients, but look at that ice cream. And then the cookies and milk. I can't wait to try all of this. This actually looks like it could be some of the best food they had uh, for the party this year. Honestly, it is so busy tonight uh, that uh, there's nowhere to sit. But the, the weird thing is the, the wait times are low. It just seems like there's a lot of people out and about. Like there's big crowds everywhere, but all the wait times are just like absolutely nothing. So it's kind of bamboozling me, but uh, yeah. Uh, we had to move on over to the garbage can because we couldn't find a table. Bringing a little Epcot to Mickey's very merry Christmas party and eating on a trash can. I think I'm gonna start with the milk and cookies. I thought that maybe you can dunk these, but I don't think you can. I think you have to actually fork it out. You gotta fork out the milk mousse. Okay, this is gonna take a bit, so I'm gonna have to put the camera down. I thought that you could like dunk them in there, so we're gonna have to just fork it out here. Cheers. The milk and cookies is not what I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be like a like a pudding, but it's actually a really hard substance. I kind of it's like a it's yeah it was very confusing. So not a big fan of that, but I do want to try this right here, and that's what I've been most excited for. Here we go for the waffle. Amazing! Wow. Okay. And this is definitely the best thing I've eaten tonight. Wow. I love it. This is actually, and I love the peppermint ice cream. And the waffle is crispy. Like you can actually hear crisp in there. And like I said, it's just got good flavor. It's not a burnt waffle, it's a red velvet one. <laughs> Look at how beautiful the castle looks right now. And we have the sleigh right outside of uh, the Christmas store. This is so cozy. I think I might sit up here. I can't believe I'm sitting in the sleigh on the first night of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I figured any, everybody would be sitting here. You know what I mean? Like this is a popular spot. I'm just sitting here watching the castle projections, waiting for my friends to finish eating their food off the top of the trash can, sitting in Santa sleigh at the Magic Kingdom in November. I love it. Opening nights of any of the special events or separate ticketed events usually are kind of chaotic and everybody's rushing around to try to get like as much they can get done. You know what I mean? Because you spend a lot of money, you want to make it worth it. You know what I mean? Especially when you come to something like this. And I feel like we're doing a good job. We got lots of treats in. We're still going to see all the shows. We're going to see the parade, the fireworks show. I want to see maybe another character or two, but. We've only, the, the party's only been going on for two hours. Holy moly. We've been doing so much. <laughs> We're gonna make our way down into Adventureland now. Honestly, I just love walking around listening to the music. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. There's nobody down here. Ooh. There's like a holly. Oh, hello. Merry Christmas.
Oh! Ooh, wait, wait, wait. You got change arms. Oh yeah, we got change arms now. Oh, oh no! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Oh. I'm not ready for this. Play me some Christmas music. Play me some Christmas music. Uh, come over the hoe down. Yep. Oh. oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yo, Big Al is just wild. He just grabbed one of those rocking chairs and pulled it out in the middle of Frontierland, and he's just sitting down. Look at him. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Normally, I wait to the very last second to go get a spot for the fireworks, uh, but this year it's a little bit different because they have the front of the castle uh, closed off, so it's going to be hard to actually get a good spot. Unless we get like kind of up front.
The fireworks show was so awesome. I feel like they toned down the fireworks though. I love the music. The music is what it's, I mean, I'm there for the music. Uh, the projections definitely upgraded a little bit. I thought it was really fancy what they did with the castle. Uh, but also, I don't know if you've seen, I had to make an audible because I was too close to the castle and I couldn't see the fireworks. So then I had to adjust and I went back a little bit uh, and it was super crowded, but I just kind of went out to the side and then stepped to the left of the castle and ended up being a pretty nice view. So I hope you enjoyed those uh, fireworks. Now it's time for the parade. Well, for us to get a spot for the parade. I always like to watch the Christmas parade on Main Street because you get all of the snow. So we're gonna find ourselves a little spot and uh, sit down for a bit. We found a nice little spot right here on the corner, right by the bubble cart too. Look at that, and I'm happy. The music is already pumping, the parade should start soon, and some more snow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Ten. There's a tree in the Grand Hotel. One in the park as well. This oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. So, so in the Christmas spirit. Jeez, I am. I know. It's November. I just am not feeling the Christmas spirit, guys. Come on, this music, this atmosphere. I don't know. Look it's at where you are. Maybe once it starts snowing. Yeah, you need the snow. Deck the halls with balls of holly. I think I got it. Got yeah. It. Keep going. <laughs> nope. Keep going. I can't. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is great! Oh, oh. I'm so excited! <laughs> Whoa, the holidays! That girl's balloon was one of the balls. And <laughs> a one horse open sleigh. Ah, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Frosty the snowman. I thought you were gonna sing. <laughs> so let it snow, let it snow.
God, those skiers are so fast with the gliding and the circling. Oh, I'm a little busy. Smells amazing! Wow! I want more!
parade is the best. Oh my lord, the reindeers, the toy soldiers, uh, all the characters, and then even the uh, Kringle crew when they first came out. That was awesome. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna go try to catch the last show and uh, maybe grab one or two more snacks. I had to hop over before the party ended so I can get the special popcorn bucket. I hope it's still available. It's a really cool Mickey Nutcracker one. I hope that's actually where I'm supposed to get it from. Huh? As soon as I saw the popcorn bucket for the party, I knew I had to get it. Look at this. It's a Mickey Toy Soldier. It is so amazing. I love it. And then while I was up there, they have hot cocoa churros. So I wanted to grab one of those and I got some more of the cookies because I didn't, I wanted to make sure I got to try all the cookies. So I got the eggnog cookie, the chocolate chip, and then also a, a Mickey premium bar. Look at that. I'm getting a lot of food here at the uh, Christmas party. I feel like I'm definitely at least getting the money's worth. The, the hot cocoa though, those aren't free. You actually have to pay for those. So they got the money out of it from me. Whether or not it was worth it, we'll find out right now. I mean, I don't have high expectations because, you know, Disney World, I just dropped a marshmallow in my pocket. Not even kidding, it landed right in my pocket. Oh, also, how do you guys like the new Roosevelt shirt? Pretty fancy. I don't know how that all happened right there, but a marshmallow just fell in my pocket. Anywho, hot cocoa churros. <laughs> mm. It's like they just rolled the churro in uh, the hot cocoa. Oh, the show's starting. Oh, we gotta go! Put that hot cocoa down! Grab the cookies! With that, we are done here today. I just love the holiday season. It puts me in the best moods, and I'm so excited, even though it's right now November, that the holiday season is starting, and I'm excited to share it with you for the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cool Christmas activities, hopefully with my family, and tonight was just amazing. I didn't get to show a lot of the show, but only because they have like that uh, construction in the front there so it's hard uh, for me to like film it but I did enjoy the show it's very nice the parade was the best uh, overall I didn't get to eat a lot of the cookies I wish I got to eat more of the cookies but I was having a great time in fact when I was hanging out over by the country bear jamboree I didn't want to leave I wanted to just stay there and uh, keep dancing with Big Al but I was like oh the fireworks are happening I gotta go so I was like all right I gotta go Big Al <laughs> but anywho's I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, I wanted to try the eggnog cookie before I left. I had an eggnog cookie in my pocket. There we go. I had to try it. How many people get to say they got an eggnog cookie in their pocket? Oh, this looks good. It's soft. All the cookies have been very soft. That's good. Mmm. The eggnog cookie was my favorite of the night. And that's so funny, I just ate it now. But let me know, I totally would pay, I think I paid uh, 176 for this, uh, I paid $176 for the uh, ticket for tonight. And I would pay that again. I had so much fun. Like, I had so much fun. And now they're playing a great song. Wines, Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. Wow. This is a core moment for me. Absolutely quiet on Center Street. So many people are walking up and down Main Street. No one's back here. And uh, they're playing one of my favorite Christmas songs. This is great. Wow! <laughs> this 
literally has been the best Christmas party I think I've ever been to, man. I was literally just hanging out here, and the, the, that whole family just came up and gave me a bunch of candy canes. I was just sitting here, and uh, it was just so cool. I was really enjoying the music, the Nutcracker Mickey, and I was just like, wow, this is so perfect. And then it was like this whole family just came out, and they were all dressed in these adorable matching outfits. And uh, each one of them just came up to the table and put a candy cane on and said Merry Christmas. And it was literally the most wholesome thing I think I've ever seen. And with that, we are done here today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Now it's time to go home and see Gracie Girl. Um, I ran into another friend tonight who uh, drew, uh, had made this little art of Gracie. And it looks so identical to Gracie. So I wanna go home and like put it up like side by side. <laughs> the monorail is changing colors. Look at that. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. This has <laughs> been the best day ever. Look at this, Gracie, it's you. Look at it, it looks just like you. <laughs> oh, I love that. She even got your spots. She got your little spots. Oh, 